What happened on each day during creation? We are going to answer that question. The creation account is found in Genesis chapters 1 through 2. The language here makes it clear that all of creation was formed from nothing in six literal 24-hour periods with no time periods occurring between each day. The account specifically describes the event that a common sense reading understands as a literal day. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Further, each sentence in the original language begins with the word and. This indicates that the days were consecutive and not separated by any period of time. The Genesis account reveals that the Word of God is authoritative and powerful. Most of God's creative work is done by speaking. So let's take a look at each day of God's creative work. God created the heavens and the earth. The heavens refers to anything beyond the earth, outer space. The earth is made but not formed in any specific way, although water is present. God then speaks the light into existence, separating the light from the dark. He names the light day and the dark night. This creative work occurs from evening until morning, one day. God creates the sky. The sky forms a barrier between the water upon the surface and the moisture in the air. At this point, Earth would have an atmosphere. This creative work occurs in one day. God creates dry land. Continents and islands are above the water. The large bodies of water are named seas, and the ground is named land. God declares that, hey, this is good. God creates all plant life, both large and small. He creates this life to be self-sustaining, having the ability to reproduce. The plants were created in great diversity. The earth was green and teeming with life. God declares that this work also is good. This creative work takes one day. God creates all the stars and heavenly bodies. The movement of these will help man track time. Two great heavenly bodies are made in relation to the earth. The first is the sun, which is the primary source of light, and the moon, which reflects the light of the sun. The movement of these bodies will distinguish day from night. This work is also declared to be good by God and took one day. God creates all life that lives in the water. God also makes the birds. All of these creatures were made with the ability to perpetuate their species by reproduction. The creatures made on day five are the first creatures blessed by God. God declares this work good and it occurs in one day. God creates all the creatures that live on dry land. This includes every type of creature not included on previous days. And man. When God was creating man, he took counsel with himself. God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. This is not an explicit revelation of the Trinity, but it is part of the foundation because God reveals an us in the Godhead. God makes man, and man is made in the image of God and is special above all other creatures. To emphasize this, God places man in authority over the earth and over all other creatures. God blesses man and commands him to reproduce, fill the earth, and subdue it. The entire universe, in all of its beauty and perfection, was formed in six literal consecutive 24-hour days. At the completion of his creation, God announces that it is very good. God rests. This in no way indicates that God is weary from his creative efforts, but denotes that the creation is complete. Further, God is establishing a pattern of one day in a week to rest. That answers the question, what happened on each day during creation? Research this question further on our website, gotquestions.org. Be sure to click subscribe and check out these other questions.